So we out here at uh, taking the, the COVID test and man, I don't know what's up with the guy in there. Uh, I guess you don't gotta be too smart to stick something up your nose, somebody knows. Crazy. Uh, is it recording? <laughs> already pretty intense just doing the test that you don't want to do anyway but uh I let everybody tell y'all what it is once it's over I ain't telling y'all nothing I'm gonna be done for the day <laughs> sticking something all the way up your nose all right what's up y'all it's the youngest the youngest of the channel I am China your truly <laughs> anyway, we have this COVID testing thing in the mall, and all I gotta say is this is real trifling. Like that thing do not belong up your nose, the little cotton swab thing. It was very uncomfortable. Rate zero out of ten. I give it zero stars on Yelp. What about you? It's really, really uncomfortable. I hate it. I can't even do my funny voice. Anymore. Yeah, it was uncomfortable, child. We hated it. But, um, yeah, that's us. I went first because my brother was like being a little punk about it. Shut up. <laughs> Even though I wanted him to go first, but I went sure. first. I went. You always said that. I went first because I'm a real one, okay? But yeah, it was uncomfortable. I wanted to sneeze, like, very badly. My eyes started watering, y'all. It was terrible. But yeah, that's it for me. From us, the young people. Hello. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> yep. Good to go. We're just coming from getting getting the um test done and it was not bad it wasn't bad the guy was very gentle and um, it was quick and easy really so <laughs> glad it's over with so we can move on to the next phase of our adventure <laughs> yeah <laughs> so. all right so we supposed to be here at what five like 510 I made sure I got us here later than that so that uh you know you got the 72 hours with the uh, with TSA with the flights and everything so I made sure I got us here late and I knew they was gonna still be here because we had the appointment set for like what 520 540 stuff like that and it took him a nice it took him a long time, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. China can, long. China can vouch for me. It took him a long time. So, to put in all the information for everybody. Um, but yeah, I did it on purpose. So, we should be good. And um, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, we probably going to get the truck, put some stuff in storage, drop some cars off. Yep, and yep. Uh, and we out of here. Then on, then we gonna get a hotel yes. by the airport. Cause on Friday we gotta meet with TSA, get out, give our fingerprints and everything, so we can get those that pre-check. Mm -hmm. You dig? Yep. Yeah, man, man, China walking. We run the group, so this how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> China actually run the group. I'm just walking on the side of them, so. But yeah, that about it, man. We on our way. Gambia, here we come. <laughs> we can't get there fast enough, I'm telling you. All right, y'all. Hi, how you doing? Oh my God, it's only two more days. 
before we leave and it's crunch time and I'm definitely feeling it I'm like like really just struggling to get everything done um, been packing up everything going from room to room um, including packing up boxes and packing up what we're taking on the plane oh my god it's just so intense and um, uh, I'm a little tired <laughs> so but I keep thinking about the the end result of us being on the plane and being in Africa I just want to close my eyes and be there like seriously literally <laughs> so but yeah, I just want to take time out to say hi and update you all on what we're doing and what we're going through. So, all right then. I will talk to you guys later. Yeah, and I'm going to update y'all. Um, I got to get to the people who are coming to look at Biddy. So, I'll be talking to you guys in a minute. Biddy out of here, man. We sold her today. So, y'all can see we still packing up. Got a lot of stuff to move tomorrow. Going to storage. Got a couple of bags over there. Boxes everywhere. But yep, Biddy gone. Sold them to some great people, man. Great people, great, great, great. They gonna take care of her. <clears throat> but yeah, so we got like a day and a half. <laughs> tomorrow and then uh, Saturday we we out of here man we are out of here hi how you doing so today is Friday um we have had some things going on <laughs> we were um we actually got the house packed up amazingly we got the house packed up in one day the kids helped it um it, it kind of went seamless we we got everything packed up got everything got the truck and like it was like boom 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 like roger he just he just the way he moves is like and he gets it done so everything was like so um crazy how he got it done and then Wednesday we got our testing so today we were supposed to get it back by 7 mind you I even called them and they said 7 well lo and behold it is 10.01 and we have still not received our test so unfortunately we ended up having to change our tickets um, to Sunday but we're still coming there's no stopping us. Roger was like, oh, I can change them. We're just going to change them, and we're going to keep it moving. So we're going to wait on the test results, and we're going to get on that plane Sunday. Easy peasy. So um, our spirits are, are not down. We're still ready. We're, we're happy, and um, we're just ready to get on the plane and be in Gambia. So, but yeah, so like, like, take a look at yeah, So we, everything is like packed up. We got our suitcases and things ready. Oh my God, we have so many suitcases. We have so many suitcases. They, like, man, but you know, go big or go home, right? <laughs> so, and the kids, they're, they're, um, we're just sitting around waiting on Roger to finish up, um, some of the last minute um, things that we have to do and then we're gonna go to a hotel near the airport and stay um, stay the night until um, it's time for us to leave so I think the kids will be happy about that they 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 love being in a hotel so I think they'll be really uh, excited about that but hey, here they are say hi you guys hey <laughs> <laughs> yeah so they're just um you know a little tired i did make them work today i put them to work they had to do a lot so 
But yeah, so last we we still should be we're um the second part of our trip is still the same. It was just that first part where we were supposed to leave tomorrow at 9 a.m. and that got changed to Sunday. But we still will um be in time to connect our um be on our connecting flight. So just everybody just keep you know keep pushing for us to get there and and you know have us in your thoughts and everything so all right you guys just want to update you and let you know that we are still on our way and nothing is going to stop us we'll see you soon bye hello <laughs> it's me again hi how you doing uh, <laughs> and china and ramon y'all know the hi. young youngest hi how are you <laughs> so this is an update to my previous um video saying about um our tests not being in and finally they came in at 11 something um it's 11 30 now at night after I emailed them I had to email them you know a pretty aggressive <laughs> email <laughs> but oh, thankfully the test came in so we are ready to go um, we still we ended up changing the tickets to Sunday of course which is no problem because now we don't um, when we get to uh, Newark we don't have a layover, so we can just, uh, when, when we get there, we'll be uh, making our connecting flight. So that's that's a good thing, you know. Um, so I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm still excited. And as you can see, the kids are ready. Um, so we're going to go to the hotel near the airport. And we're going to kind of decompress from the hectic day today and be ready for our flight on Sunday. So, yay! <laughs> so, all right, you guys, we will be seeing you. Bye! Bye!